What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back. I hate to do a third reroll guide, but you guys have asked me a few questions that I do want to answer and I do want to address here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the main reroll portion of this. You always want to start with a guest account, and I do want to say uh, it'll give us an opportun opportunity to link here in a moment. Do not link your account to Google Play, Facebook, whatever, until you are happy with the account you've received and obviously if you want to know what to get go watch the other reroll guide we go over the tier list in great detail uh but here i'm just going to literally skip through everything and i'm going to show you how quickly we can get to the actual reroll process we are 37 seconds in and we're here all right so we just got to get through some of these prelim screens and i probably could go faster if i wasn't yakking but we're in our reroll we're literally already in our reroll now there are a few things you can watch for when the animation comes up, but it goes so quickly, sometimes you just miss it if you're just talking like I am. But I didn't see any four stars here. I don't believe that your initial roll can fake out. So I've not seen it yet, and I've done a good number of re-rolls. I know a lot of people have done re-rolls, and I've yet to hear of anybody receiving a fake out. So basically, if you don't get a four star, don't keep the account. Just delete it like I'm going to do here in a moment. Now... There are some two and three stars that are extremely worthwhile. You really want to go through all of your two and three stars. Check all their skills because there are some that do healing. There's some that do like ailments. There's some that do a lot of interesting things. And they're really good as subunits, units that you can actually tie to your main adventurer. Now, I'm going to give this a garbage name. I really don't care. I'm going to throw the, the profile away here in just a second. Anyway, as you'll see, let's go. Let's just get into it. And really, the backside of this is the longest part of this. You got to get through all these initial screens. It's going to come up here and ask you to link your account. Just cancel out of this. Don't link the account. Just close that window. Because we're running out of guest account, this is how we do it. But you have to re-roll on a guest account. I will say that again because it is very, very, very important. Re-roll on a guest account because if you create a profile and you tie it to Google Play, you tie it to Facebook, whatever you will not be able to tie a new one to there even if you delete your account like we're going to do here in a moment for seven days so when you're re-rolling use a guest account just like i did it's very important i'll go do it again here in a moment but click menu right here okay click profile right there in the center and then click remove account it's that easy and it's going to ask you to put in reset account now i went ahead and i just copy pasta so i can just Paste it in the clipboard there and go. Really easy. Really simple. I mean, it literally, it's hard to make this easier than it is. Even me talking, I'm less than three minutes in and I'm already on my next roll. It's that easy. And like I said, just like I showed you there, do a guest account until you're happy. You can always tie your account down once you are happy with it. As in fact, if you guys were on the live stream last night, that's exactly what I did. We tied our account down. We got everything uh, basically squared away. I'm going to go ahead and skip the story here. I'm going to skip the, bat the, uh, the tutorial. And once again, I'm going to skip the movie. I've already seen these. Um, it's great stuff. You do want to watch it the first time, you, especially the tutorial. You want to be aware of how you're going to fight your fights. But let's go and do our reroll. Now, let's see. There's three different things I'm looking for here. Okay, we got Chimosuke. Awesome. I think that's his name. The little black cat. That is a four star. So we're going to get a four star. Uh, I believe the other option is Chris, the thief. If she's behind a pillar, you're going to get a four star. If uh, there's another adventure, I can't remember his name, big buff dude. Uh, if he gives you a thumbs up and a wink, you're going to get a four star. So well, this is actually not a half bad roll. We're getting some good three stars. Um, and uh, even three stars, there's Chris. Even three stars and two stars do have their uses. So a lot of these units, you'll need to check their skills. You'll need to pay close attention to what they're doing. But... Uh, I thought that was the four star. It is not. Here it is. Let's see who we got. Okay. Eh. Uh, Cecily. She, uh, I believe she was one of the, uh, uh, the S's, I believe, but I'm really, really, really looking for Melissa. Uh, if there, if you aren't aware that, um, the hunter Melissa, not the swimsuit Melissa, you do not actually want to go after the swimsuit Melissa, the hunter Melissa is absolutely phenomenal and apparently even to this day mind you we're only six months into the game but even to this day apparently still really 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 good on jp so if at all possible go after hunter melissa there's only like what i think a dozen four stars in here um i've heard some horror stories of people going over 100 rerolls and still not getting her but 
I would say that is definitely not the average. I got mine. I've gotten her twice now. So, and I've maybe done two dozen rerolls. Oop. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use that as the name. Why not? I did that prematurely. That's okay. So once again, we're going to skip through this, and we're going to go back in here one more time and try to go after Melissa. But, I mean, this is how easy it is, guys. It could not be simpler. It really could not. Now, as I was saying, two stars and three stars do have uses. If you actually go into your team formation, and I, I'd have to show you on my main account, but let's go ahead and go in here to team. And when you're building your team out, okay, let's go to party. Now, these are my three units I'm starting with. Underneath Cosmo there, you'll notice that there's four different boxes. The top two boxes are your subunits. That's where you could tie two and three star units. And in fact, if you if I have like another Cosma, or I, for example, I'll use Aqua. Aqua has a three star that has a great skill stat. So, or I'm sorry, a great heal stat. So I could actually use the healing um, Aqua in this situation. Or I could put her as a subunit. There's lots of different ways you can use these units and lots of different ways you can build teams. So two and three stars still have uses, still still are extremely useful in the game, at least at this, uh, this stage of the game. So don't start thinking that you don't have to use two and three stars. Don't, you know, I'm actually using the three star Aqua for her healing in my main game. But here's the thing, a lot of people have asked me why I'm not using my quartz right out of the gate. You know, we have the swimsuit banner. Uh, my understanding is the swimsuit banner is not terribly good. There's a lot of debate in the global community on this, but my understanding, and I've spoken to quite a few people who played on the JP side of the game, my understanding is she does not hold up. The uh, the Melissa that comes from the initial banner, the one we're actually going to go for today, uh, no, we don't want to do Apple, we want to do Guest. There we go. So the Melissa that we're going for today, the Hunter Melissa, is still, still like top tier in arena on uh, JP. So if you can help it, definitely go for her. But as far as paid quartz or paid quartz, as far as using quartz goes, uh, this game isn't as easy as others to acquire some of your currency. Now that might be rectified over time. But as of right now, we don't know quite how the global version of the game is going to handle this situation. So my recommendation is save as much quartz as you possibly can. I do know that I spent a bunch of mine the other night, but I also do plan to spend some money in this game, you know, support the devs and all that. If you're free to play, you might want to be stingy. Oh, see, see, that wasn't Chris, though. I thought it was Chris that popped up. Okay, there's our four star. If you saw her behind the pillar, she did pop up. So we got a four star here. We got a three-star union. She kills me. Cosma kills me, too. Um, so, excellent, excellent, excellent. Hopefully, that was a good example. If you watch behind the pillar, you will have seen... Uh, I, I didn't t get a good enough look at her, but I believe that's Chris? Really? Really? We got union. All right. So, we can back out of this. So, this is another, like, rip run. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's just, for the sake of silliness, do one more. But hopefully you get the idea. Like, save your quartz at all costs. Like, we're getting a ton of it here in the beginning, and it is not going to be, no matter what anybody tells you, it is not going to be anywhere at, near as easy to acquire it over time as it's going to be right now. So save, save, save. Don't go crazy. And a lot of people were asking me, like, why are you spending so much time rerolling? Well, if you reroll for a top-tier unit now... That's less quartz you have to save down the road. We can actually talk about that later on when we start getting, you know, more units and more things like that. Because, quite frankly, you know, my goal is to start the game with the best possible unit. Now, I do understand there's a certain amount of reroll fatigue people are going to feel. But I'm telling you right now, you get a four-star guaranteed ticket in here. In fact, there's no shame in using that right out of the gate. Uh, we can go ahead and showcase that here real quick. So if you want to just double check and you want to make sure that you're getting the maximum amount of your accounts, we already got a four star. We can go here to recruit. We can go to, now uh, we'll do it with voices. It'll download for a second. Won't take terribly long. Okay. Let's skip all this. I probably should have done it without voices or should have canceled out of it all together. All right. So if you go up here to other, all right, and uh, oh, we haven't accepted. You know what? That's a good example of how not to mess up. Go to home. Go to your little presents up here. And we need to accept all of our presents. This is all the stuff we got 
for the, uh, the beginning of the game bonuses. Now we go to recruit. We go to other. And now you'll see we have a four-star guaranteed ticket. We can actually burn that right now. And let's see what we get. Now, this is guaranteed to be a four-star. Ah, see, she popped up again. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Chris. It's the little succubus. Oh, I just saw who that was. Someone told me it was Chris. It's actually the succubus. That's hilarious. All right, there's High Flying Thief Chris. So, for me, I'm really after Melissa. So, I'm not really, really, really hyped about this. But if you noticed, just for the sake of silliness here, I didn't realize it was a succubus. Someone said it was Chris. I just realized that was a succubus. I hadn't gotten a chance to actually look at her before. So, other, we can actually do three star tickets here. So, let's burn our three star tickets and see what we get. Okay, no major animations it looks like, so I'm not expecting miracles. Nope, it is the three-star Cosma. Let's try one more. Okay, Chimosuke, this is gonna be a four-star. This is the first time I've seen a three-star ticket turn into a four-star, so that's amazing. And it is... Celio. Okay. Uh, still not Melissa. Uh... I believe she's actually one of the S tiers, if I recollect. But I'm, I'm kind of dead set. Like, I want to start my account with Melissa. Just because I've heard so many great things about her. So, we burnt all of our tickets. Um, so, we're kind of done there. But, no fret. We can actually go start again one more time. So, we'll go to Profile. Remove Account. Okay. Paste that in there. So, hopefully you get the basic idea. It's that easy. It just really is that easy. It takes you like no time whatsoever. So here we go. One more time with the guest account. And when I finally do get an account I like, then I would go into, and I'll show you this time uh, how you do it. Not that I'm actually going to link this account necessarily, but I could show you how to link it uh, as soon as we get our draw done here and get through all the main menus. So skip. Oop, I didn't want to start the tutorial. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to skip over that there because I accidentally clicked down the tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and skip the movie and let's get back into the reroll real quick. All right. And let's see if we get some fire on this one. So let's look at the animations here and see what we get. I want to pay very close attention. Okay. We got Chimosuke there. That's good news. I think that's his name. I'm going to butcher his name. I just know it, but whatever. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead and see what we got in our four star. And we've got... Rin, okay. Eh. Still not Melissa, but let's just say for the sake of argument, we actually acquired Melissa, and you actually wanted to go ahead and link this account. Let's go ahead and showcase account linking really, really fast, and then we'll kind of move on with our day. All right. New account added, new account added. Let's go. All right. I'm going to throw away this account anyway, so it doesn't matter what I name it. And you can always change names later if you do decide to keep the account for whatever reason. So that's the good news. You can always change names. You can always link accounts later. Like, it is very, 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 like, mistake-friendly. All right. So let's not connect the account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. Let's just say for the sake of argument, I got Melissa. Or let's see, I got her on a ticket or something like that. And I just wanted to go ahead and link the account. Okay? If you go to Menu... So once we're here, we're going to go to data transfer. Okay. And that's going to bring up this little page here. And literally this is the same thing we saw before where you just click connect account and it's going to ask you, I'm not going to go ahead and dox myself with all my emails and everything that I've tied to my phone, but you can connect your Facebook account. You can connect like a, a Google account, um, whatever you want to connect pretty much or Apple or whatever you're on. You can connect one of those accounts and you're good to go. It's just that easy. Literally the same page we've done everything on. And once again, remember, you can always come over here to change language as well. We showed that before, but language, profile, and data transfer all right here. Everything you need right under this menu. That's going to be the video. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you want to see what some of these units do, um, you can always go into the gallery here and you can look at all these units and even units you don't have, you could go ahead and look at what their skills do like this bind is a really awesome skill um and you know she's she is what she is apparently a lot of units have that is what i've been told but we'll have to see what happens here uh but neither here nor there 
The unit that we're after, I uh, believe she's all the way down here. Where's she at? Uh, that her? Yes. No, that's Seductress Melissa. That is not the one we're after. Anyway. Um, well, shoot. I don't know where she's at on this list. There she is. There she is. Treasure Hunter Melissa. That's the one we're actually after. That's the one that's supposed to be really crazy, really good. And you can actually go ahead and look at her skills and everything right here. So that's the video let me know you guys' thoughts and comments in the, in the comment section down below uh right now your guys' questions are helping me uh you know create the content that you want to see so ask more questions definitely let me know we will discuss more here uh coming up very 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 soon so i'm gonna go ahead and splice this in here at the end real quick um it looks like we're getting another four star ticket uh this is sort of relevant uh relevant to what we were talking about a moment ago but celebration of becoming one of the most popular games, guys. This is nuts. Uh, Dear Adventures, after our uh, after our grand launch on August twentieth, we become one of the most popular games within the stores. Thank you so much to appreciate your wonderful support and love. We've sent you a small gift. We got another four star ticket, y'all. Guys, that's absolutely legendary. Um, so good luck to you on your on your draws. Good luck to you on these tickets. Uh, I still stand by the idea that you probably should reroll until you get Melissa. You've still got until the second, uh, which is you know what, like two weeks time. You got some time to go in there and go after this unit. Uh, maybe a little less than two weeks. It's it's not that. It's 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 a long enough time. Should easily be able to get her. Uh, good luck to all of you. Let me know your thoughts and comments uh, down below. It does help me uh, know what direction I want to go with content production because I do, uh, as of right now, at least take as much as I can out of the comments. There are a lot of you, but I do try to like make sure that I'm covering the kind of content you guys want to see. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, for now, that's the video.